everyone. This is Victor with Excited Atom Design. Wanted to talk about bending material. Uh, the normal way to bend material usually is using a living hinge, which I don't like to use only because it cuts all the way through the material and you get a lot of gaps. So I wanted to come up with a way that I could bend. Uh, what I'm using right now is MDF. Um, I could bend MDF just by cutting it and bending it right from the Glowforge without using steam, without using water or heat. So what we're going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to show you how to do that using a leaf today. So go ahead and create a new document. All right, we're going to set our document up to be 20 by 12 bed size. Uh, I'm going to title this leaf. Go ahead and hit create. Okay, so in order to get a leaf shape, we're going to start with an oval. So go ahead and grab your ellipse tool. Just click on the board. We're going to make this 2.5 by 4.5. All right. I'm going to move this up a little bit so I can get to it easier. All right, in order to make a leaf, we need to straighten out these lines here and the best way to do that is going over and grabbing your anchor point tool or shift C for those who like to use keystrokes and I just want you to click on the top and click on the bottom anchors and you'll see what that does is it gets rid of the handles and it gets rid of the curve so now we're gonna go up and grab our direct select tool and we're gonna drag up on the top a little bit and drag up on the bottom just a hair all right so now we have our leaf tool. So I want to kind of round this edge down just a little bit. And the way I can do that with a direct select tool, if I click on an anchor, it'll bring up a shape tool. So if I just click on that two circles and drag up a little bit, it's going to curve that line. Okay. I want to do the same thing for the top, but just not as much. Just a small, slight curve. We want to get rid of that sharp edge, but still keep the sides straight. All right? All right, so there's our leaf. So the way that we can remove material in order to create a bend, the easiest way, is to score. All right? So what we want to do is add score lines to this. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees just by holding down shift. And I'm going to start with my line segment tool. I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to be just above and I'm going to drag down to just below. All right. I want this line to extend past my cut line. And this assures that the stroke goes all the way through. All right. Easiest way to do this to create these lines is by using a transform tool. Now, I know you could also use your um, option shift and just click your arrow and it'll create a copy at a certain distance away. You can use command CV and then kind of move it into position and then even them up later, but you don't really need to do that. So let's drag this across. I'm going to set it up just a little bit inside of that curve. With the line selected, go up and grab your transform tool under distort and transform. All right, this is a pretty powerful tool and in future videos, I will show you how to use this to do everything from mandalas to gears. But for today, we're just going to recreate this line. I don't want to move it vertical. I only want to move it horizontal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a size. So my size I'm going to pick is 116. The angle is going to be zero because I want it to move across the horizontal axis. Now for copies, I'm going to add, I'm going to put in 45. And as you can see, it creates a copy of that line all the way across the, all the way across my leaf. It's a little too far. Um, 
So I want to bring it back. So I'm going to bring it back to, let's say, 41. Perfect. All right, I'm going to open it up just a little bit. There we go. And hit OK. All right, it's a little not center, and that drives me crazy, so I'm going to move it back. There we go. All right, so what we have now is we have all of our score lines set up. Now, as you can see, if I click on it, I only get this one because these are copies. So right now I can't do anything with them. So what I need to do is I need to release them in order for them to show up as strokes. So under Object, hit Expand Appearance. Now I can actually go in, if I double click on this, and select each line. All right, right now they're grouped. I'm going to keep them that way. I want them, I want them grouped. All right, now in order for this to show up as a different layer in the Glowforge, we need to change the color. So I'm going to change the color of the stroke to a medium blue. So now what will happen is when this goes into the Glowforge, the leaf will be on one layer and the strokes will be on the other layer. And I can then choose score in Glowforge. All right. So we're almost done with the scoring setup. So what I want to do now is I want to add a glue line. So I'm going to, again, step outside just a little bit. I'm going to drag it across the center of this leaf to almost the end. The reason why I do almost the end is because I don't, I don't need for this end piece to glue. I just need it to glue from here in because the shape will continue. All right, You don't need to actually glue the entire leaf. You can if you want. I just find that it looks better when you don't. All right, so we have all of our score set up. We have our leaf set up. Now, we need something to glue it to. So let's create a leaf stem. So go ahead and drag a copy down. And for those of you that have seen other videos, the way that I do that is by holding down Option Shift as I'm dragging, and it creates a copy. You can, of course, use Command-CB. Um, it's up to you. So what we have now is we have a copy of our leaf. What I want to do is I just want this line, this top line. So what I'm going to do is come up and grab my direct select tool, and I'm going to delete anchors in order to get the line that I want. All right. I'm also going to get rid of the fill. So now I have this line. Um, it's not really shaped the way I want it to because it's a little too steep for this curve. So I'm going to bring this middle one down to right about there. Now, this curve here is a little steep, so I'm going to take this handle and drag it back. And then I'll move this over just a hair and drag this one back. There we go. Okay, so this is the actual shape that I want the leaf to be. So the leaf will glue to this and take this shape. Obviously, this needs to be thicker uh, in order for it to hold up against the leaf. You can't cut a line and expect it to stick to it. So we're going to make this line a little thicker. What you can do is go to your stroke tool and I'm going to add an actual measurement in there. So I'm going to put 0.25 inches. It automatically sizes the stroke to the inch size. So we know for future reference that 18 points is 0.25 inches. This is still just a line, so let's make it a shape. And the way we do that is by going up under Object and hit Expand. So we're just going to fan, expand, fill, and stroke. There is no fill, but the stroke will expand. All right, so now we have a shape. And what we're going to do is we're going to swap fill and stroke over here. So now you can see the shape. All right. I could cut this out and glue that leaf to it, but I want to shape it just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I want this end 
to be thicker than this end. So I'm just going to grab my middle anchor point and drag down. All right. Then just grab your end point and move that down as well. All right. So you see what happens. It automatically expands that shape on this side just by playing with those points. Over here, I have an extra anchor point I want to get rid of. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to hit delete anchor point. All right. I don't, I don't need that extra anchor point. And anywhere that you can get rid of points, I suggest you do it because it will make it better for the Glowforge to have less anchor points than more. All right. So now we have this anchor point, and you see how it's perfectly square? Well, I don't want it perfectly square, so I'm going to drag back just to give it a little bit of a curve. All right, just makes it look nicer. This side is fine. Okay, so there are our two pieces. So these are, this is one leaf with a stem. All right, go in and delete your fill on your leaf. And now you're ready. So basically, let's go ahead and make this an SVG. So I'm going to save it as an SVG. Um, I'm going to call it Leaf Practice. Save it as an SVG. All right. Again, brings up my SVG window. SVG 1.1. You want to embed. And make sure this responsive is not clicked and hit OK. All right, so have all my pieces together. I'm going to go ahead and send these over to the Glowforge. I'm going to print them out. Let me show you how to do that. Brought my leaf into the Glowforge UI. Now what I want to do is I want to move this, this score lines up above the cut line. I want to make sure these go first. In order to get them to score, we just need to choose score, choose high quality, and go ahead and click on the arrow. I want to run these twice. Okay. Um, I find that doing it once uh, does not cut in deep enough, so I always run them twice. So it's going to score it, high quality score it twice. Um, and the other one is set for cut. So I'll go ahead and hit print. And then I will go ahead and run this. And I will show you guys on the other side how to glue it all up and make a pretty leaf. All right. Okay, so here we are. We have our pieces. So I have my leaf and I have my stem and I always just use Gorilla Glue. All right, what we want to do first is we want to glue this end down first. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a bead of glue on the end. All right. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put the edge down and hold it in place until that glue sets up. And try to make sure that you're keeping the piece straight on that glue line. All right, just hold it until it sets. A couple seconds. See? All right, now go ahead and again, this is very flexible now. So you can kind of push back just a little bit and add glue to the other side. Just go ahead and drag glue out. Of course, I'm being messy right now. All right, and then just go ahead and bend that piece onto it. Okay, again, we're just gonna hold it until the glue sets. And as you can see, the end is already set, giving you that nice curve. Always cap your super glue when you're not using it. 
Okay. Yeah, it was a little messy with the glue, but for our purposes, it's fine. All right. And you just kind of have to hold it for a few minutes. But as you can see, it automatically curves. Now, I will tell you this much. The more lines you put in for score, the greater the curve. So you can actually have a tighter curve. The less lines, the less of a curve you'll have overall. The idea is to get rid of material and the material that you're getting rid of is what dictates how much of a curve you can have. Okay. Of course, I put way too much glue on here and it's not sticking. Okay. And just while this is setting up, I can kind of show you the application that I did with it, which is the leaf ball. So if I show you the back, you can see how each one of those leaves is scored and glued. And then I just created legs to fit into the base. All right. So again, it's up to you how you want to use it. Uh, there's plenty of different ways. You can actually, you don't have to use a leaf. You can just use a piece of square that you want to bend around something. All right. It's basically up to you to go ahead and play with it and figure out what can be done. All right, so there's our leaf. And that's how I did it. All right, everybody have a great day and I will talk with you soon.